Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're checking out how to do this kinetic typo in Illustrator. First step, select your typo. I gotta go with the inter font. I gotta go to the object, expand, click OK. And from here, I gotta put this text here. So I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift to isolate it. I'm gonna position it somewhere here. From here, I'm gonna press Control D and Control D again until it cre creates some copies in here. Okay, I'm gonna select them all, right click, group. And now we're gonna select the rectangle. Here's the rectangle. I'm gonna create a long rectangle. Okay, right click on the rectangle, go to the arrange and send to back. Now you can select the text and I'm gonna recolor this as white. Good, select all, go up, select vertical align center and horizontal align center. Good, now select both. Press and hold alt, drag it down, also press shift until they intersect right here, they connect. Now select the black stripe, select the white color and now I'm gonna select the text and select the black color. Select all, right click group and now I'm gonna create some copies. Press and hold alt, drag it down until they intersect and then press control D until it creates a lot of copies. Something like this. I'm gonna select all, right click, group, press and hold shift, rotate it 90 degrees and right click, go to the transform and go to reflect. Make sure to select vertical and click OK. Now we're gonna go to the symbols if you don't have the symbols, go to Windows and select the symbols. Drag and drop the text composition to the symbols. You can re rename it however you like, click OK. You can delete the composition. Now I'm gonna select the circle, pre long press and select the ellipse tool, press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a circle. I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke here and I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and delete these two anchor points. I'm gonna scale this down a little. I also go, I'm gonna go to the stroke and select a gray color, a light gray color. And I'm gonna go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, if you have uh, Illustrator 2022 and select the Revolve Classic. Make sure to select here from left edge to the right edge. And I'm gonna rotate the little cube here, go to the map art, and we got like one out of two and we're gonna go with number one go to the none and select the new symbol click on scale to fit now i'm gonna bring the text down here now it's getting better and i'm gonna bring it up there you go and i'm gonna bring this down and stretch it out even more okay so what is going on uh with these areas because these areas are empty as you can see so what I'm gonna do is from one to two, I'm gonna go to the second one and these are these empty areas. So I'm gonna select the same thing, new symbol, scale to fit and see now it's starting to come together. I'm gonna stretch it out. So it is something like this. Uh, at the first time when I did it, it, it didn't have this issue, but when you're working in Illustrator with uh, 3D, then it's gonna make some things here happen. And voila, this is how you create this uh, typo black hole in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new in the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.